Welcome, Daniel. Thank you so much. Oh, all ready. Thank you. So I need a pointer. Hello, everybody. Hi. So I'm Daniel. I'm uh, the CEO and uh, co-founder of Flow Neuroscience. And uh, we are a company trying to treat mental illnesses with the help of new technology and neuroscience. So I'm going to spend my 10 minutes talking about why we think depression is one of the most important problems out there, why we are dealing with that, and our treatment solution to this problem. We are, I'm also going to uh, just briefly say a little bit about our journey so far and where we're heading. But I want to start with this. So uh, the founders of, of Flow, me and, and Eric, we believe that the control of emotions is fundamental to everything from innovation to the prevention of war. And in the extreme cases of not being able to up and down regulate your emotions, we have what we call in common speak, uh, mental illnesses. And this is an area that we are, pardon the expression, manically interested in, and that we're trying to stay in this field for, for the next decade or so. So what we're doing as the first product is a depression treatment device. It's a combination product between a brain stimulation wearable and an app-based automatic therapy program uh, that we want to, um, uh, that's aimed at creating a new effective and safe and affordable treatment solution for depression at home. And this last part is very uh, important as I'm going to uh, into uh, the next of the presentation. But let's start in the actual problem. You probably already know a little bit about depression, but we have today about 350 million people worldwide suffering from depression. About 20% of the population during a lifetime, twice as many women as men. And the situation is such that more people today commit suicide than die from war, crime and terrorism put together. Uh, we also have a situation where 50% doesn't get any treatment at all. So the solutions today are basically three categories. We have antidepressant medication, we have what we call electroconvulsive therapy, and we have talk therapy, the field that I'm representing. We have a couple of problems with these. Uh, talk therapy is quite expensive. It's not very scalable. I, as a psychologist, I cannot clone myself, of course. Um, antidepressant medication is the big one. We have about 10% of the population in Sweden taking antidepressant medication. In the US, it's actually 14%. We have a couple of problems with that also. Only about 30% actually get well from them, and 63% get side effects. Electroconvulsive therapy is done on about 4,000 patients each year. Uh, it's in very severe cases. And you have a bunch of side effects with that also. Of course, you have to sedate the patient and so on, so it's not a very suitable solution for mild and moderate depression. So we have thought about this, and we have come up with a new kind of treatment solution. Uh, we call it Flow, and it's a component solution, two-component solution, as I said before. And it's an easy-to-use, medical grade, that's very important, brain stimulation wearable, and an app-based behavioral training program. So how many of you have heard about the, the brain stimulation? Raise a hand. Okay, 30%, 40%. Great. This is just an overview. So we Brain stimulation is basically an umbrella term for everything that has to do with affecting the brain without putting in pharmaceuticals. You can use different kind of brain stimulation techniques. We are using something called transcranial direct current stimulation. There are weak electric pulses going into the brain and stimulating the neurons on different parts in the head. We are using an area called F3, according to a, a positioning system of the, of the brain. Um, where we send in the current and we take it out on the, on the opposite side, in the, in the frontal lobes, which means that we can push the neurons into firing more in a very safe way. The other part is the digital therapy. So, um, of course, I would say uh, we, don't, we, we can't just treat the biological part of the problem. We need to create a holistic solution to the problem. So we are 
giving the patient information about what depression is, how they can treat it themselves by training, physical training in a, in a correct way, sleeping in a correct way, and nutrition and managing stress in a correct way also. Um, so this is the digital part. So for those of you who have, who have heard about brain stimulation, maybe knows the field a little bit, uh, knows that there are a bunch of research being done. Uh, this is from a study being done in, in June 2016 and com um, uh, encapsulated eight RCTs, uh, about a thousand patients showing this effect. 34% uh, reduction in depression on a group level, of course, uh, compared to placebo, which is quite high, but even higher actually for antidepressant medication. So we have a bunch of studies being done. Uh, we had uh, one published in 2017. It's not on our device, but on TDCS in general. Published by this guy also, Brunoni. He's also one of our advisors. Um, so uh, there are a bunch of studies coming out, but there are also a bunch of studies that have already been done showing these kinds of effects. So just to remind you again, I know we need some kind of repetition in order to, for this to stick. So it's a headset, it's a digital therapy, and we are focusing on the safety aspect, getting this to a home treatment, that's the important part. So this is a little bit about what we have been doing so far. Uh, we started in 2016 early. Uh, we joined an accelerator program in, in China. So we went to China for five months. Um, people talking about being global early. We, we gained a lot from this. Uh, we were there and finalized the development of the hardware. We then came home and raised um, money from uh, um, the Americans, because uh, in Sweden was a little bit hesitant on taking the risk, this project. We are very happy about that. We are now in a regulator regulatory situation where we are in the final, final stages of getting the uh, CE approval for the, as a medical device, 2A, risk class 2A. And if everything goes according to plan, regulatory, blah, 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 <laughs> we are going to launch in the EU by the end of the year. These are some of the people that we are working with. We, we need the scientific, absolutely strongest people uh, to join us. And therefore we have Professor Brunoni, who is uh, the leader in this field, TDCS and depression. Uh, he's, we have actually commercialized his uh, treatment protocol, you could say. And also Sophia Franga at, at Mount Sinai in, in New York, uh, who's also a leader in uh, neuroimaging, who's going to do interesting stuff. Uh, with us. So uh, I want to thank you for your attention and uh, if you have any questions I'm, I'm happy to take them. <laughs>